Well, we start with the, the Japanese maples. Uh, lots of them, so we got Shishigashira. What kind of tree is it? Uh, Japanese maple. Um, Mo Momoji. Does it get red? Yes, it does. It does get very red in, in autumn. What's the name of this tree? Uh, it's a juniper, Chinese juniper, but um, it, Itogawa juniper. Very good quality juniper. Is it a pretty much place for bonsai? So yes, they collect them from between the valley of the of the river. So they got them on the cliff faces and that's where they collect them from. This is a white matsu. White white as in colour white. Yes, it has white lines on it. So that's why it's called white matsu. Uh, so and this is a black matsu matsu. It grows uh, in the coast of Japan. Uh, this grow higher up in the in the mountains of Japan. So, yeah. so all these trees you have, this white matsu, kuro matsu, how do you get these? Uh, we import them from Japan. Mm. You also teach? I do teach. I teach uh, lots and lots of. Uh, so we have uh, the, for the beginners, uh, for advanced, and for the more professional students also. So mostly British people? Uh, in London, uh, mixed, everybody. But they all live, look, they live oh, in London, no, no, all no, Londoners. No, no. Is it common uh, to um, grow apple tree as a bonsai? Yes, yes, it's, uh, it's very popular because it has beautiful flowers mm. and then afterwards has little apples. So all through the year, mm. something on the tree. Uh, and this is cherry. Uh, cherry? Like sakura? See, is it from Japan too? Uh, no, these are from, these are local cherry trees. Uh, yeah. But uh, this is, uh, the variety is from Japan, they call Kwanza. But uh, they're grown locally, they're not imported. You are looking after every single bonsai here, 2000? Yes, and me and my students, help me. It must be a quite a lot of work to do. It is, but it's fun. I oh. like it. It's my happy and my passion. <laughs> I, I used to teach at university. Uh, I'm a teacher. So for me to teach bonsai is good. It's easy. So you used to be a, a professor of... Hi. Uh. What was the first reason being a professor of just computer science suddenly become a bonsai? Bec uh, because of when I was a young boy, 20-something, I was studying karate. I saw the movie uh, Mr. Miyagi. That's where I saw the bonsai the first time. And then uh, I saw them in, in, uh, in a local club and I said, mm, this is the way to, to grow. So I started 30 years ago and since that time now this collection is there. Who is Miyagi-san? Uh, Mr. Miyagi-san is uh, a karate teacher, a Japanese karate teacher who was living in America and he was teaching American students. And uh, it's a story, it's a, uh, it's a nice, very popular uh, American movie that was popular when we were very young. You also like, do, like karate? Yes, I, I studied karate for many, many, many years. Okinawa and Goju, uh, so, uh, from the island of Okinawa. Uh, so that style I learned, I started in, 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 in India, where I come from. Uh, and then I, I practiced out in, the UK, in England also for a long time. I also taught for a few years before health said keep away from too much of exercise. So this is perfect for me. So now bonsai make me well. It's good for my health, it's good for me. No tensions anymore. So bonsai is good for health? It's my way of life, yes. It is very good for health. This is Indo bonsai. From bonsai from, from, uh, from Asia. So that's why they're in the hot room. This is a fig tree from China. This one is from India. This is uh, a banana tree. Oh. Uh, the banana is from uh, uh, from this tree is from Sri, Sri Lanka. J the jade is from Africa actually, <laughs> Angola. The pomegranate, punica, from uh, from Turkey. Uh, uh, 
This is fig tree. So I, I put it in the ground, it will grow bigger, and then I, I show you how they become much older. This is a pistachio. Where from? Uh, the pistachio is from uh, from the Mediterranean. Uh, Italy and uh, Spain. From. Oh. Do you know a guava? It's from India. I got the seed from when I was in India, and I grew the seeds. So this is now, it grows very slowly here. So it seems like you have a um, bonsai from all over the world. From many different countries. How do you I have 450 different species. Mostly you buy part of these from the, each country, or do you have any I, I, agent? Uh, no, I collect seeds. So I get five, seven seeds. I'm allowed to get a few seeds at a time. Mostly they die, but sometimes they grow. And when they grow, then I take cuttings and make more of them. So, little cuttings. So they are small little cuttings that I take, and then they grow in big in the bigger pots, and then uh, they grow bigger and bigger. Who made this greenhouse? Oh <laughs> me. <laughs> this this from the old windows of my house. So when I change the central, the heating window for the, these are for the old windows. I said, okay, I use them in the green. Cuttings, they grow into little pots mm. like this, and then I start making them. I put them in the ground, and then they grow bigger, and I cut them and I make them into bonsai. So it takes me about eight years to get one as a bonsai that I can perhaps sell. Uh, Twenty years before it is really, really good uh, to display. In exhibitions. Okay, so that's the shoes for bonsai. For bonsai, yes. Where do you get these from? Uh, some are Japanese, uh, some are from China. Uh, the, this is from Japan. Yeah. Uh, you, you bought in here? Uh, my teacher brings for me when he comes. Mm. So generally I would cut back to about two shoots. So uh, it li I let it grow fully and then I cut back to one, two. So is that okay to cut that much? Yes, uh, you have to let it grow because when it grows, it makes nice roots, and when you cut, it makes more branches, so the tree becomes more full. So how do you decide w w where do you cut and where you leave? Uh, for, for where I leave is how I want to shape the tree. Yeah. Uh, but when, when to cut is dependent on the season and that it has full extensions, it has to grow to a certain length. Uh, it has to start making small branches at the back before I prune. So I brought this in because this is ready. Most of the others are not yet ready. This is an evergreen tree, so it grows through the year, which is why I can cut now. We use all the, uh, these are all the soils that we use for, for bonsai. So these are all from, from Japan. This is oh. Ibaraki uh, Akidama, and this is uh, Ezo, Ezo. Uh, pumice from, from Japan. Mm. And this again is from, from Japan. Bonsai lesson, when did you start? Uh, about seven years now. First, my, my teacher started, uh, but then the demand was so much and he was here not so often. So I started teaching and now we have lots and lots and lots of students. <laughs> so every Sunday something is happening. A little bit about bonsai here. This is called a shohin bonsai. Yeah, a shohin means a sh small bonsai. Oh. But it's very, very detailed. It's got everything. The branches are well formed. Yeah. This is a very old Japanese. Uh, 
Itagawa, another Itagawa bonsai. Ah. These ones are collected from the Alpines, from Italy, and the Alpine mountains. So they all collected. Called Yamadori. And because of that, they got lots of bark. The bark is very good. I, I made this, I tried to do it a Japanese way, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> but it looks nice. It, there are some of the features. Uh, but uh, yes. Do you have so any this is very Japanese. So. Where did this original idea come from? Do you have any particular parts you. Yes, I, I copied from. Uh, from uh, Omiya Bonsai Nursery. So. Uh, this is my Tokonama and my favorite uh, bonsai tree. Ah, eh, Kokoga Tokonoma this car? So, this is your Tokonoma space. <laughs> Hi. Ficus microcarpa. It's a fig tree. Yeah. So it's very, very old. It's uh, been with me for a long time now. Uh, this is grown in um, in the Japanese broom style. Yeah. So it's um, and, and the branches radiate outwards like in the Japanese broom. So you have it's like a fan in there. Yeah? So this is. Uh, the leaves uh, normally are quite big, but they reduce with as the bonsai happens, so they get smaller and smaller. Uh, and uh, needs a lot of light, mm? and it needs a lot of heat. Uh, and in, inside here, it can get really, really hot, 42 degrees. This is grown very traditional, the way like most uh, fig trees are grown in, uh, in India. So the roots are hanging from the from there. When I was a little boy in India, we used to swing on the on the roots from the aerial roots. It used to be quite a lot of fun. And so I, I've let them stay here because th this reminds me of the way it was when I was a young boy. So, and the branches get smaller and smaller and finer and finer. So I keep pruning it so that I can make it more thick. Sometimes it gets too much branches, too much leaves, then I have to thin it out. It's now getting quite thick, so I have to reduce it so light can go inside, otherwise I will kill the branches on the inside. Another very old, but this is an English tree, it's an English hawthorn. So it has uh, uh, little red berries on this, a lot of white flowers will come. So we have little white flowers coming. What's the most appealing thing about bonsai? What? Ab about being with nature, about being with trees. I, I grew up in, in India where we had lots of trees and forests and uh, things like that. So when I came to England, uh, that was missing. And the only way I could get lots of trees is by having lots of small trees. Uh, so I enjoyed having the trees out here. What is the purpose what makes you can, um, um, like to share your knowledge in here, in this country, to your people? For, for me, I always felt that bonsai is a great way of, of relaxing, of being calm, of being with your environment. And the, in this busy world, bonsai is a great way of being with yourself and being with nature. So it makes people more, more relaxed people, more sensible people. It makes them less angry and more people, angry with everything around them. And it's healthy for you. Is that what you want to? Yes, to, to, to take it to, to the next level. So that's one to share with people or that's kind of want? No, well for myself, yes, but mainly to share with people. ぜひお願いします。<笑>